Hey guys, it's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Uh, so we just finished that episode, and we're starting the next one. Um, like I said at the end of the last episode, I, I don't know, I, I maybe I took too much enjoyment out of the last episode. But, I don't know, it just, that guy was such a puke. And it's like, he was like the exact opposite of Ben. Like, he's almost like worthless in the, in the way that he's trying to be too efficient. And, and, I mean, that can't happen. And then, like, and with Ben, it was just, he just, he couldn't get his stuff together. He just kept messing everything up. But that's water under the bridge at this point. And I guess so is uh, Bill Carver. Oh, yeah, and I forgot, we just chopped off, uh, what's her name, Clarita's arm or whatever, Kenny's girlfriend. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens there, but... I just it was the right choice I, I don't care if she gets mad at Clem or not it was just if she wants to live and still be with Kenny and if Kenny still want and wants to be with her you know unless Kenny doesn't want to be with her I don't know it was the right choice to call, make as far as that person's survival so let's see what happens next I suppose That scream. <laughs> yeah. You, you. Oh no. <laughs> I guess it was the wrong call to make. She was dying either way. Oh gosh. Isn't gonna go like this. Kenny! I won't be left alone again. We're gonna leave. We're, we're gonna get out of this. Kenny! Oh, I could just axe her. I should have just did that. After what he can't save her. Please, Kenny. Dang it, I should've just axed her. She's gonna turn, man. Doing it! Oh, I'm sorry, Kenny. I love you, bro. We gotta go. What the fuck did you do? What the hell is going on? Why? Why? She was going to turn. I couldn't let that happen. Stop it, fucking kid. Kenny, damn it, man. I'm sorry. Let's go. How are you supposed to hit that arm? Oh, I guess I did it. You are dead. What the heck? Oh my. Oof does. Oh no! Kenny. Yeah, I need more guts on me. It's the only way we're going to survive. Stop. Stick to 
Oh no, 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 no. She just have a contraction. Maybe they're thinning out somewhere. Do you see any openings? Anything? Claire, we've got up there. Damn it. Go back, go back. Jane. Jane, thank God. Stop. Relax. Yeah, stop talking. Stop and just we can't come together like this. It's better if we spread out. You two will be fine. Yeah. You don't understand. Just you guys are fine. Just go. Calm down, Rebecca. Spread out. You spread out. You said you would stay with me. Well, I Which one? This is who I want to stay with. <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. Guess he's going to hate me now. Guess I shouldn't have lopped her arm off. Did it out of love for you, Kenny. I tried. that bridge when we get to it. Aren't. Nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Well, it's true. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? I don't think they are. It's been quiet, but who knows? Don't worry. We're okay. We'll meet up with everyone soon. We'll at least be safe, I guess. We need to keep up a good pace. I know. I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I know I should feel glad that we escaped, but I just can't stop thinking about the others. How could I leave Alvin behind? It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. Jane saved us. 
I don't know how we would have gotten out without you. You don't give yourself enough credit. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Yeah, of course. for sure. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. Yep. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. Kind of. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Uh. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No, I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. <laughs> She's right no. to the point. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah? And? We'll look after it together. Even if that's the case, you can't always protect everyone. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. Jane, wait. Damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Oh, Kenny. Now, hopefully we can... I tried to talk to Ken. He flipped down on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. It was scary. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's going to shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I should go talk to him. This is my fault. Hey, you did what you felt was right. That's all anyone can do in that situation. That's what I did. I'd probably do it again. Sarita. God, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Oh, Kenny, don't do it. I... Remember what you said. Oof, that, that stare. Kenny acting that way. Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. Sorry, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. Ah. Uh. Sure as hell helping me. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. Get the fuck out of 
crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Clem, how'd it go? Not good. Kenny's being a jerk. Kenny's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold. And we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. We'll go have a plan. Dark Kenny will have a plan. Mike. Right. Mike's got a point. We can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge. Uh, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now. Either. Darn it! Rebecca needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. I don't want to leave without Luke. Especially if Kenny's falling apart, we need Luke. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know. You better keep that close. Come on, Clem. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead. And... You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. Well, then why'd we come out here? I wanted to talk to you, away from them. That's what I figured. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart. But I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well... A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny going to be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. Ugh. You get enough broken people together, and all you're going to get are broken decisions. Have you just kept to yourself this whole time? Of course not. But sometimes you got to learn the hard way. I'm trying to save you that trouble. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. sister <laughs> seems we always want to talk about the end don't we you know being a big sister is well it's funny it's really easy to be mean oh you know hide her toys make fun of her bad haircut give her the bad haircut on purpose I mean I did put the gum there I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but... 
And what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer, we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just friends. <clears throat> Jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Gross. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. I'll check this one. Smart haircut. Thanks. So, has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I've actually only been with them a little while. I don't know what it was like before I got there. But Kenny was different. I know that. getting hard to come by and things aren't going to get better. Find anything? Driver's licenses, two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. That's it. nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She'd jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. Better to be safe than sorry. Whoa, what? These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but- Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Oh no. Oh. It's Nick. Poor Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. Well, come on, Clem. You're a dead eye out there when you took out Kenny's girlfriend. Gross. I think I just proved I can do no that. Hesitation. You know that, right? I know. I've done the 
this before. Just ask Kenny, he'll tell you. <laughs> that hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. I agree. Very effective. We can do this. All right, guys, we're going to end this one here. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Kazmir out.